We have a health alert for you tonight. If you need to go to the emergency room, you may be waiting a little bit longer than normal. Hospitals across the Mid-South are sending out a warning because many ERs are nearing capacity. Fox Routine's health reporter Mandy Rock is joining us live tonight outside of Methodist North Hospital. Mandy, I know you had a chance to talk with a doctor who said the situation at this point, it is only getting worse as flu activity, it is skyrocketing across the area. Yeah, that's right. And I can tell you just within the short time we've been here, we've seen several people going in and out of the emergency room here. And that's really the same situation for many ERs across our area. That's why unless you are experiencing a true emergency, doctors are urging you to seek care at other providers. We are starting to see our, um, our pre-pandemic and during pandemic volumes of, of patients come through our emergency department. Health experts are calling it a triple-demic. Cases of flu, RSV, and COVID are straining hospitals. Emergency rooms across the Mid-South are feeling the effects. So what that means is we have more people coming into the emergency department with those respiratory illnesses, as well as with those common conditions that we typically see as well. Dr. LaTanya Washington is the chief medical officer at Methodist North Hospital. She said the increase means people seeking care in the ER may have to wait longer than normal. So you are a patient, but bring your patients um, because we are really working to, to triage patients and making sure that we're taking care of the most critical patients uh, as soon as they are presenting to our emergency departments. That's why healthcare workers ask you to stay out of the ER unless you have a true emergency. That may include chest pain, uncontrollable bleeding, or feeling like you can't breathe. Something such as an earache or uh, something uh, such as just a mild respiratory condition where you're having a cold or cough, um, maybe not having that associated shortness of breath, uh, where you may just need a prescription for some medications. Uh, those would be times that when it would be more appropriate to follow up in the minor medical or the urgent care or the primary care. And we checked in with other hospitals in the areas to see what the situation was like in their emergency rooms. Baptist Healthcare said they have seen a recent increase in admissions due to respiratory issues and that wait times really depend, depending on the time of day. Labonner Children said they are also very busy and they've been dealing with an increase in admissions over the past few months. And Regional One said they are busy, but nothing unusual and beds there are available. Back to you. That is Fox 13's Mandy Rock reporting at Methodist North tonight. Thank you so much, Mandy.